Today on Bashing Champs with Barchers, we're barching with bacon on a fully maxed base. Hi guys, Spencer $23 here. Well, you asked for it. Yeah, I definitely smell a bacon product of some type. It's the hogs with the barchers. So this was originally going to be the attack for today, but I've decided to do another one. This one uh, I didn't like for various reasons. Normally I only do these attacks once or twice, but this one I think has some real potential and definitely for you Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9 guys. And now I picked one of the most popular bases in Clash for good reason, so that you guys can pretty much try and copy these attacks and because it's so easy to spin in this village over and over again. Now I didn't use this because as it happens the hogs really didn't get involved. I kind of forgot to deploy them. <laughs> They just sat there in my clan castle, and you'll see where I deploy them a little bit later on. So I just went in with a kind of a standard attack here, Golem out, Queen out behind, and try and get her to take down this splash. This is a kind of a lucky layout, this one. Some people have the big bombs over in the corners, and I like to attack from the top if I can at all. So that's what I've done this time, and I don't have to hit too many big bombs. Now one of the problems with this particular attack, by the time I get to this town hall, I've taken four lightning and one rage, but I don't really have enough troops to cause any devastating damage. So it, you'll see that this attack actually becomes quite lucky in a way. I'm heading here, we're going to go and take over this single inferno. That's completely overwhelmed. I've stuck the rage down, but it really isn't raging that many troops. And the troops are arriving at this town hall so slowly, by the time they get there, there just isn't enough to do the job. Now the queen is still here and she's still on just about full health. And this is where we get a little bit bit lucky she turns starts aiming at the town hall she's about to be chased by a load of larrys but for whatever reason I get lucky and she shoots the town hall instead of all the larrys now that almost never happens but we got the town hall so here they come here's the hogs which I had saved up send them over ahead of the king and they can take out the defenses leaving him fully healed and I should really have quit which I didn't do so then I decided to reheal him, but he's just messing around, whacking this wall. Let's quit it. But we did get the two stars, but that was not professional. So let's do another one. Lock and loaded, barbs, archers, golem, and here are the seven hogs. So let's find that exact base again, and let's do it properly. So I generally can spin that base really rapidly, and there it is already, one of my favorite bases. My favourites because it means you can practice it over and over. Now people do put the layout quite different, but uh, the, the strategy is normally pretty similar. Because I like to go from the top, we're going to have to deal with those big bombs. Now I think maybe we can get those with the hogs. That's another advantage of hogs. We can activate big bombs instead of waiting and waiting for the queen or the king to do it. Now that bottom mortar, I don't think we're going to need to worry about that. So I think the one we're going to lightning is probably this one right here. Mm, should we? Uh, tough call, tough call. Okay, we're going to go for this one. Lightning this one and we'll lightning the wizard tower right next to it. We don't want our troops scurrying down the side and getting splashed out of existence by this whiz. So that's down. No problems there. So far, so good. So I'll get my golem out to attract all of the fire and then I'll deploy the hogs. Now I did one of these the other day and I dropped all of my hogs on a big bomb and they all died immediately. So I'm going to try and get them to jump over the side to make sure there's no way they can hit any big bombs. Here they go. So let's see what happens. So that golem's doing well. He's taking most of the damage. Those hogs are... Oh, they've split up. What a fantastic result. They're taking both mortars. Wow, you couldn't really plan for that. And they've taken a big bomb. <laughs> well, I couldn't have wished for a better deployment of those hogs. That has worked out perfectly. It's a shame that that expo is targeting my queen. I'm going to have to use her ability. It would be better if it was on the golem. But it's not the end of the world, so we need to break in just here. We don't want to walk down the right where that big bomb is. My king is going down. 
That's a bit of an issue, but I don't have time. Oh no, I've deployed my rage outside too far. Here we go, let's fire in the troops. Full speed ahead, straight to the town hall. No wasting time, sprinting archers. We're going to get this town hall, I know it. Look at that, look at the speed of these ladies. Come on, break through that wall. There's no way this multi-inferno is going to be able to hold them off now. Far too many on the town hall. Come on, girls, that's it. Down it goes, bosh. Town hall down. Wow, that, that worked a treat. So here we go. I got, well, we've already got the next star. Let's quit. Let's save the health. Done. Job done on a fully maxed base with barches and the hogs. What should we call that? Hoggo barch? Barcho hog? Choggo? I don't know. You name it. I don't care. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with versions of that for you, Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9, guys, especially for the people who don't have a queen. And until the next time, send everyone!